ఓం శ్రీ లక్ష్మీ నరసింహాయ నమ వాల్మీకి రామాయణ అయోధ్య కాండ చాప్టర్ నైన్ కైకేయ్ ఎంటర్స్ ద సల్కింగ్ చేంబర్ సమరీ దిస్ చాప్టర్ డిస్క్రైబ్స్ మంత్రా సక్సెస్ ఇన్ టర్నింగ్ కేకేస్ మైండ్ అవే ఫ్రమ్ గుడ్ టువర్డ్స్ ఎవెల్ చాప్టర్ నైన్ ఇన్ డీటెయిల్ ఆఫ్టర్ హియరింగ్ దిస్ వర్డ్స్ కేకే విత్ అర్ ఫేస్ బర్నింగ్ విత్ యాంగర్ హ్యాడ్ ఎ లాంగ్ అండ్ హాట్ సై అండ్ స్పోక్ టు మంత్రా యాజ్ ఫాలోస్ నవ్ ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ ఐ షెల్ సెండ్ డ్రామా క్విక్లీ టు ఫారెస్ట్ ఐ షెల్ గెట్ భరత అనాయిటెడ్ ఫార్ ప్రిన్స్లీ కింగ్డమ్ ఇమీడియట్లీ ఓ మంత్రా వాట్ ఈస్ ద మీన్స్ బై విచ్ భరత విల్ గెట్ ద కింగ్డమ్ బట్ రామా విల్ నాట్ గెట్ ఇట్ బై ఎనీ మెథడ్ థింక్ అబౌట్ ఇట్ నావ్ ఆఫ్టర్ హియరింగ్ అర్ వర్డ్స్ ద సిన్ఫుల్ థింకింగ్ మంత్రా స్పోక్ దస్ టు కేకే టు డిస్ట్రాయ్ రామాస్ బెనిఫిట్ ఆఫ్ కింగ్డమ్ ఓ కేకే ఐఎమ్ వెరీ గ్లాడ్ ఐ షెల్ టెల్ యూ ద మీన్స్ బై విచ్ యువర్ సన్ భరత ఓన్లీ విల్ గెట్ ద కింగ్డమ్ లిజన్ టు ఇట్ ఓ కేకే యువర్ డిజైర్ టు హియర్ ఫ్రమ్ మీ ద మీన్స్ ఫర్ యువర్ బెనిఫిట్ హ్యావ్ యూ ఫర్గాటన్ అబౌట్ ఇట్ ఆర్ ఆర్ యూ హైడింగ్ ఈవెన్ ఇఫ్ యూ హ్యావ్ రిమెంబర్డ్ ఇట్ ఓ ద లేడీ ఆఫ్ చామ్స్ కేకే ఇఫ్ యూ డిజైర్ టు హియర్ దిస్ ఫ్రమ్ మై మౌత్ ఐ షెల్ టెల్ యూ లిజన్ టు మీ లెట్ ఇట్ బి యాక్టెడ్ అపాన్ ఆఫ్టర్ లిజనింగ్ టు మీ ఆఫ్టర్ హియరింగ్ మంత్రాస్ వర్డ్స్ కేకీ స్లైట్లీ రోస్ ఫ్రమ్ ద వెల్ లైట్ బెడ్ అండ్ స్పోక్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ ఓ మంత్రా టెల్ మీ ద ట్రెక్ బై విచ్ భరత విల్ గెట్ ద కింగ్డమ్ అండ్ రామా విల్ నాట్ గెట్ ఇట్ అండర్ ఎనీ సర్కమ్స్టెన్సెస్ ఆఫ్టర్ హియరింగ్ కేకేస్ వర్డ్స్ ద సిన్ఫుల్ థింకింగ్ హంచ్ హంచ్ బ్యాక్డ్ మంత్రా స్పోక్ దస్ విత్ అన్ ఇంటెన్షన్ టు డిస్ట్రాయ్ రామాస్ బెనిఫిట్ ఆఫ్ కింగ్డమ్ ఓ క్వీన్ వన్స్ అపోన్ అ టైమ్ when there was a battle between celestials and demons your husband dashratha went along with you and other holy kings to help indra in battle to a famous city called vijayata in which the demon timidhuja lived in a southern direction in the forest of dandaka that great demon famously called shambhara who had several magic effects defeated all the celestials and conferred battle upon devendra in that great battle demons approached and forcefully killed men who were injured by arrows and also those who were sleeping at night then king dashratha fought a great battle there with their weapons demons made into pieces the long armed dashratha o queen you saved the life of your unconscious husband by taking him, taking him away from the battlefield there also you again saved him when beaten by demons with their weapons o k k with auspicious appearance getting delighted he gave two boons to you then you said i shall ask you whenever i require them he then agreed to it o queen i do not know what happened there you yourself told the story previously to me i am keeping this in mind because of my friendship with you hence you have to stop by force the arrangements made for rama's coronation you ask your husband as two boons anointing bharata for princely kingdom and sending rama to exile for 14 years if you send rama to the forest for 14 years your son bharata will get intimate association in the hearts of the people and will get stabilized in kingdom okk okay, now enter the room of warth as if angry with him and lie down on the floor without any spread underneath and wearing soiled clothes as soon as you see dashratha be sorrowful and keep on weeping without looking at him and without talking to him face to face you are always dear to your husband <clears throat> i have no doubt about it king dashratha will even jump into a fire for your sake the king is not capable of making you angry he is not even able to see you with anger he will give up his life for your love O foolish one the king will not be able to transgress your word you realize your abundant strength king dashratha may offer you diamonds pearls golds and various other precious stones do not care for them o k k the great fortunate you remind dashratha of those boons given by him to you in the battle between celestials and demons see that your benefit does not get thwarted dashratha himself will raise you from the floor and offer you the boon thus after making him steady you ask for his boon o king send rama to the forest for 14 years let bharata be made as king of this earth 
Rama having been sent to forest for 14 years, your son will stand firmly having laid his roots and will stay in power for the remaining period. OKK asked Dashrata of sending Rama to forest also as a boon. Thus, your son will accomplish all the desired benefits. Thus, by sending Rama to exile, he will not become amiable to people. Your Bharata will become king after the enemies have been annihilated. When Rama returns from forest, your wife's son will accumulate friends and draw people to his fold, thus establishing roots its himself. This is the appropriate time for you. Be fearless and by your insistence make the king turn aside his efforts to annoy Rama. KK being brainwashed and unworthy matter as the most worthy matter by Manthara accepted her well and having delighted spoke to her as follows. Thought of right thinking in nature, Kaikei was very much surprised to hear Mantra's words and like a small girl got into a wrong path. O oh, Mantra, you are telling me very good things. Till now, I have not recognized you as this good. You are the best among the hunchbacked on this earth in making intellectual decisions. O oh, Mantra, you always show interest in my well-being and wish for my benefit, but for you, I would not have been aware of the king's intentions. There are so many hunchbacked persons in the world. Their bodily construction is very bad. They are crooked and dreadful, but you appear lovely as a lotus flower bent by breeze. Your chest is appearing equally on both sides and is loftily extended onto the shoulders. Below, it is the stomach with an excellent navel which is lean, as though it is shy of seeing the loftiness of chest. O Mantara, with perfect hips and well-rounded breast, and with your face like an untamed moon, you are shining well. O Mantara, your waist decorated with golden belt is making sound. Your leg muscles are well-rounded and your feet are tall. O Mantara, you are splendid like a royal swan walking before me with long thighs, are wearing a silk sari. In addition to all those thousand magic effects lying in Shambhara, the lord of demons, another further thousands of magic effects are lying in you. In your long hunch, which looks like an apex of a chariot, are dwelling your various thoughts, royal arts and magic effects. O Mantara, when Rama goes to forest and Bharata gets kingdom, I shall adore this hunchback with golden garland. O Mantara, after accomplishing the benefit desired by me, I shall with delight get your hunchback anointed with well-refined gold of good quality. O Mantara, I shall get beautiful ornaments made and for your forehead auspicious dots of variety done of pure gold. You will be moving around like an angel. Wearing beautiful clothes, you will achieve an important position in the eyes of your adversaries with pride and with your face incomparable competing with moon. The hunchbacked woman adored with all ornaments will always do service at your feet. As how? As hunchbacked woman adored with all ornaments will always do service at your feet as, as how a hunchback you are doing it to me. Mantara, in this way being praised, spoke these words to KK, who was lying in a clean couch like a flame of fire upon the sacrificial altar. O KK, the auspicious one, when water has already flown out, there is no use constructing a dam. Now rise and do this purposeful action. Show your influence to the king. By surrendering to the words of Mantara and having been thus encouraged by her, KK, who was of wide eyes, who was proud of her intoxicating beauty, who was a gifted woman and a queen, removed pearl necklace worth in lakhs and other great valuable auspicious ornaments from her body, entered the chamber of worth, along with Mantara, lied on the floor there like a golden wire and spoke to Mantara as follows. After Rama going to the forest, Bharata shall get the kingdom, or else you inform the king that I died here itself. Neither gold, nor diamonds, nor ornaments are of any use to me. On which day Rama gets anointed for the kingdom, the same day it will be the end of my life. 
Afterwards, Mantara again spoke to the seriously talking mother of Bharata, that is Keki, the following words, which are beneficial to her and not beneficial in relation to Rama. If Rama becomes king, you and your son will be destroyed, O Keki of auspicious qualities. Hence, you try for coronation of your son Bharata. Having thus hit by arrows of words employed by Mantara again and again, K.K. felt sad, was angry with the king by keeping hands on her heart, was surprised with the cleverness of Mantara and praised her time and again. If Rama does not go to the forest from here, I do not long for any mattresses or garlands or sandal placed or eyeliners or drink or food or even the loaf here. If Rama does not go to the forest from here, I do not long for any mattresses or garlands or sandal paste or eyeliners or drink or food or even the life here. Kaike, thus uttering cruel words, having removed all ornaments, lied on the floor without a mattress like a fallen angel. Kaike, having removed all adornments, having her face covered by the darkness of extreme anger and with a depressed mind, looked like a starless sky in a gloomy night. Thus completes the ninth chapter of Ayodhya Kanda of Srimad Ramayana. Sri Mula Rama Vijayate. Om Sri Krishna Arpanamastu.